that three-pointer. And another timeout taken by Portland. Boise State in control of 26 10 over the Pirates. You're watching Portland Pirates basketball right here on the W.TV. Boise State up 26 to 10. The Broncos 9 of 16 from the field. It's really 4 of 8 from downtown. Portland is 28% here. And right now, Boise State with the lead. There's Mulheim. Seven different players for the Broncos have scored. There's Owens. Slager driving baseline. That pass deflected. Boise State very active defensively. The Broncos four and three. Coming off that big 85-62 win against Washington. They shot 58% from the field as a team in that game. Their biggest win of the year. One, two straight also went over Eastern Washington. Here's Owens. Pilots trying to remain perfect. They're four and zero here at home. Owens driving baseline. So she will go to the line for two. Rochelle Owens at the line, the redshirt senior from Carson, California. Knocks down that free throw. Really common opponent between these two teams coming in Hawaii. It was a 62-60 loss for the Broncos. And Portland a 76-47 win. That was the opening game of the year for the Pilots back on November 10th. Owens knocks out a pair of free throws. Hodgins has six points with the ball at the top of the key. Looper. Well swung back up top and around the perimeter they go. Coleman open. That jumper a little short. And the rebound to Portland. Owens driving. And a charge. All against Owens. Have a good position by the Broncos. Brooke Wheeler checking back into the game. Wheeler has four points tonight, two of three from the field. Boise State on top, 26 to 12. Good defense that time by Portland. Slager read the pass. That was just 4 14 from the field, and another offensive foul. Subs in for both teams. Holman going to check out. Chandler Shaw back into the game. And Ellie Warner also back in. There goes it will come out for Portland. Gray back in. And Spencer back in as well. Here's Shaw. She's double teamed at the free throw line. Ramita thought about a three. 
The defense here by the Pilots, 14 on the shot clock, Amina. Ball worked in the corner, back up top, Amina fakes the three, now drives on the elbow. Portland playing tough defense, six on the shot clock. And traveling call that time. Great solid defense there by the Pilots. Can Portland find that offensive rhythm they showed early on in the first quarter? Started out three of five from the field. Owens off the screen. Slega deep three. Got it. Darian Slega from the NBA range. Knocks that one now. A little momentum back for the Pilots. Slega shooting over 50% from three point range coming into the game. Looper for three, that's a little strong. The ball loose, and Owens comes away with it. Owens looking to push, one on one, all the way to the basket. The runner short, and out of bounds. And we'll stay with Portland. Corey Presnell in his 13th year for Boise State, doesn't like that call. It's over 600 wins to his credit, 620 wins, and in fact his 600th win came against the Pilots. Three NCAA appearances, including two of the last three years. Orland almost lost it on the inbounds. Spencer, a step back three short. Tough shot as he was fading away from the basket. Armina driving on the elbow, kicks it cross court. A three from the baseline. A little strong that time. Warner couldn't get that one to go. Warner now one of three from downtown. Well, I've thought about that three. Kick it back out, 13 on the shot clock. Slega, another three. That one halfway down and rattled out. Good look, though, off the screen. Pilots trying to get back defensively. Armida, Wheeler in the corner, Looper for three. Too strong. The ball loose, and Mulheim comes away with the tip. 26-15, Boise State on top. Boise State back to a man-to-man -man defense. Gray on the right block, going up strong. Spencer the rebound, the putback, can't get it to go. It's out of bounds, it should stay with Portland, it will. Sophomore Kate Anderson back into the game. 16 points against Warner Pacific, including 15 second half points for the sophomore from Jesuit. Mulheim, the freshman from Sunset, will sit down. Owens. Slega. Looks like Boise State going back to that matchup zone. Spencer for three, good. Julia Spencer, just her fourth three-point attempt of the season. And a big shot there. 26-18. Wheeler along the baseline. And Anderson getting called for the foul. Wheeler, a 50% free throw shooter. Boise State 25 and 8 last year, winning the Mountain West. Falling in the first round to UCLA, 83 to 56, they were a th number 13 seed in the NCAA tournament as Josie Matz checks back into the game. She led Portland, freshman 17 points against Warner Pacific. Six of eight from the field. Offensive rebound off the free throw and another look here for Boise State. Here's Warner. Armida, the ball around the perimeter. Pilots throwing his own for the first time today. Armida, deep three, in and out, no good. Spencer with the rebound. Owens working quickly on the elbow, stops. A little short on that jumper. Pretty good look though. Armida kicks it out. Looper open just inside the three-point line. Good. Nice pass that time for my Armida. Point guard averaging just over five assists per game. 
And a beautiful feed that time. Looper was wide open. Match along the baseline. Spencer from the elbow. No good. The ball quickly worked ahead. Looper looking to drive. A cut off by Owens. Warner for three. That's no good. Another offensive rebound by Boise State. A long rebound going to Ermita. Shaw from the free throw line. No good. Jump ball. It'll stay with Boise State. Subs in for both teams. Coleman checks back in. Hodgins back in as well for Portland. Kemp and Gray back into the game. Armida around the perimeter. Hodgins back to Armida. Shaw, good ball movement here by the Broncos. 17 on the shot clock, deep three. That one short that time by Hodgins. Kept alive that time by Shaw, but it falls to Mohan. Twenty nine eighteen, Boise State on top. Matt's at the free throw line, cutting through traffic. Her pass is deflected. It's loose. Jump ball will stay with Portland. Jump ball. I don't think Slago is ready for that pass. Look at a flexion, lucky break for Portland. They're able to get a jump ball out of the situation. So Malheim will inbound. 13 on the shot clock, 2.12 left to go here in the opening half. The ball in the corner, Slega fakes the three. She'll step back, take the three. That's short, may have been partially deflected. Quick outlet ahead for Shaw's behind the defense. For the basket and a foul. Portland not getting back defensively in Boise State. It's a three-point play. Nice finish that time by Ashanti Coleman, the redshirt sophomore from San Francisco. Coleman making her eighth appearance of the year. Has not started a game. Free throw is no good. Under two to go. Boys stay on top, 31 to 18. Quinlan left open, driving baseline. And gets it to go. Looper. Hermita. Shaw driving, kicks it out. Hodgins flat to Looper. And the ball deflected. And it will go back to Portland. Good defense by the Pilots. An offensive foul called. Looper. There's Matz. Mulheim. What does he say? Back to man to man defense. On the freshman from Tacoma. Driving baseline, kicks it out. Kemp open for three. That's too strong. Had a good look, and Boise State pushing it quickly up the court. Armida, Looper, travel. Well, back to back turnovers by the Broncos. They lead it by 11, under a minute to go here in the first half. Ray, trying to dump it down low for Kemp, goes up strong for two. And a nice high-low game there by the Pilots as Kemp gets on the board, her first basket of the game. See if Portland can get a stop here. Long cross-court pass, Looper for three, no good. And the rebound to Portland, Quinlan pulled it down. Portland can hold for the last shot. Now Matt sets up the offense with 12 seconds to go. 
Maddox lost the handle, fell to Cap, left open. She'll take a long three. That's no good with one. And we reach halftime at the Child Center. A little bit of a late run there by Portland. Got that lead down to single digits. At halftime, it's Boise State on top of Portland, 31 to 22. We'll take a break, come back with all the halftime numbers and the call of the second half. At that, Boise State on top of the Pirates, 31-22. You're watching Portland Pirates basketball on the W.TV.
Portland Pilots, 128. It's a bunch of new guys. It was a bunch of guys who are first time racing at the NCAA championship. To be that new to the championship and come up with a runner-up finish, very impressive. And they beat some great teams. This is the vision of uh, Jeff Thies and Nick Hogger. And, you know, last spring we put up on the board in the office P2 and we circled it. And they said, what's P2? And I said, Podium 2 Project, okay, P2. So that was from last spring when we left school. The team was thinking podium this year. Nick Hogger, Jeff Thies have been tremendous leaders and uh, we, we wouldn't have been able to do this without their leadership. It's amazing, it's the greatest feeling ever. This is for Rob, he, he's given every guy on, on this line you know, an opportunity that we might not have gotten had not been for him. He believed in all of us before you know, anyone else did, even before we believed in ourselves. So being able to give this back to him is, is huge and it's all we could ever ask for is to repay him you know, for the opportunities he's given us with this uh, second place finish, it's been fantastic. It doesn't feel real yet. It, it just seems like a, a dream. We've been chasing this, and now that it's here, it doesn't even seem like it's real. Um, but we ran for each other. We ran selfless. We ran fearless, and that's all that matters. During the race, I go, do this for Coach. This is what he dedicates his life to. And he did this for us, and he brought me here and brought all of us here to, to do this. And so we did this for him and for each other, and I'm just so happy to have gotten to this program and be with RC. It's been awesome. The team effort was essential. After 3K, 4K, I was just dead. But I saw that Jeff was still here hanging on. So I said, OK, I have to, for the team, stay with him. And yeah, it was really important. I think that second place trophy is heavier than the third place trophy. I, I picked it up, and I'm like, wow, this, this feels different. Then I noticed it was silver, too, so that's different. So. Uh, Unbelievable. Uh, team got out hard. I was a little nervous because they, they went second place at the first 2K split. At the 4K split, they're in third. They were tied with CSU, and I'm like, oh, geez, I hope we're not going backwards. And then they didn't give us splits at the 5K or the 8K, so I didn't know exactly how the team was doing. Then I, I saw the score, and we were down, down by five points with uh, 2K to go. So I ran out as far as I could and got them at about 500 meters to go, and I'm screaming at every guy, we're down by five, we're five points out a second. And every single guy brought it home so strong to widen that margin between second and third. It was a phenomenal effort. We're coming down late in that race, and RC was coming around the corner with maybe like a K to go, 800 to go, and just yelling at us saying, five spots, and we get second. And, uh, you know, I was hurting, but, Five spots isn't is you know could be tough, but uh, I just thought uh, you know this isn't I'm not getting these five spots for me. I'm getting it for Jeff Thies, the fifth year senior. I'm getting it for Matt Welts, the fifth year senior. This was for them. This was for the University of Portland. This was for Coach Rob Connor. This was everyone back home and the pilot house. You know we're watching this race and you know this is for everybody. The whole race we were just looking for each other. We want to run together. Um, I knew Manu, Jeff, and Nick. Uh, they were up there and they were running together and they were running for the team and they're running for all the alumni and all the people back home cheering on. And uh, Caleb and I, we were running together the last 2K and he's the one that really got me through. Caleb pulled me through and I was able to finish really strong and he was able to finish strong and we were all able to do that as a team together. Coming into the second loop and I have Manu right on my tail running with me, it just puts you back to you know, the first workout in August when we're running through Forest Park on Leif Erickson as a group and you know, everyone's right there, you're just working out together and so it's, uh, it just makes it a lot easier to kind of push yourself when you know that they're pushing just as hard with you. RC is the best coach there is, and he trusts in us like so well. And he told me, Noah, you can do this. Like we need you. Um, you're gonna work for it, and, and we're gonna get it done. And even though I, I couldn't do that myself, I it's like everyone has a bad race sometimes, and it's just insane how we had like six guys running so well today and getting second. It's yeah, it's amazing. This is what we want to achieve. We want to come in here and just run our hearts out. And, uh, you know, we knew we could get top three, but second was a nice little surprise. So we're very stoked on that. I was really impressed by the team. I was really happy, you know, to be walking to the podium. I was feeling like, oh, I was part of them. So, yeah, that's, I don't know. I was just super happy. I could see Manu and Jeff up there the whole time, and they were just motivating me to keep pushing past guys. and. Then all of a sudden with 2K to go, or 2K to go, I start moving up the hills. And then with 1K to go, RC just yells, we need five more spots. 
I just started sprinting and it was just the best feeling and we come through you know we get waiting for the guys just watching them pull through and they all second place and it was just the best feeling in the world it was amazing it's a stair step for the history of our program ever since we won regionals in 93 we've had big goals and um, uh, this really has been on the backs of uh, of a lot of people okay you know starting with Pete Julian and his vision for the team Ian Soloff, Uli Steidel, uh, clear up through, you know, our trophy team a couple years ago, Fable and Perry, Reed. So those guys set the expectation, they set the goal, and they set the vision. And uh, without that kind of student leadership, you know, it's not possible to do this. Halftime at the Child Center, and as Boise State on top of the Pilots, 31 to 22. Let's take a look at some of our halftime stats. You can see Boise State shooting 41 percent in the field. Both teams taking a lot of three-point attempts in that first half. Boise State 4 of 15, Pilots 2 of 13. Rebounding edge, Boise State 20 to 17. That's usually an area where Portland dominates. But Boise State has a lot of size on the floor, and they've done a nice job there. As we take a look at some of our leading scorers here in the first half for Boise State. Brady Hodgins and Ellie Warner each have six points. For the Pilots, Billy Spencer has seven points. So not a ton of high scoring, but a lot of balanced scoring for Boise State as they have had eight different players score here in the first half. You mentioned points in the paint. Uh, Boise State, the edge there, 12 to four. Points up in turnovers, Boise State, a slight edge, 10 to nine. Total rebounding, 20 to 17. And Boise State slightly ahead in that department. For Portland, it'll be Owens, Slaga, Spencer, Zaragoza, and Anderson. For Boise State, Shaw, Armida, Warner, Harrell, and Lupfer. Second half underway from the Child Center. Tom Polkworth, you thanks for joining us. W.TV. Boise State riding a two-game winning streak. Wins over Eastern Washington and Washington headed into today. Pilots got a win over Warner Pacific Friday night. That snapped a four-game losing streak. And a nice reverse layup from Harold to start the second half. The correction of Shaw. Shaw averaging just under nine points per game on the season. 
Spencer fakes the three, now pulls up from just above the free throw line and knocks it down. Spencer at eight points in the win over Warner Pacific. Shaw kicks it out. Well worked around the perimeter. Armida top of the key for three, and that's good. Armida had a big game in the win over the Huskies. 16 points, seven rebounds, nine assists. Six of nine from the field in that game. As the Broncos beat the Huskies 85 to 62. Anderson, Owens fakes the jumper. Now she'll take it. Too strong, and Armida with the rebound. I mean, it does have one triple-double on the season. Shaw splits a double team. Well worked down low and a nice speed. Harrell for two more. Armida back-to-back assist. 38-24, Boise State on top. Pilots lead the all-time series between these two teams. 12-8, but Boise State has won three in a row. Portland trying to snap that streak here today. Owens, cut off along the baseline. Spencer driving, has a lane, and lays it in for two more. Julia Spencer, the team's leading scorer, averaging just over 12 points per game on the season. Looper, ball work to Shaw. Warner, former pilot. They're along the baseline again. This time, well, if you can see you against Zaragoza. There goes the coming in off a double double, 15 points, 12 rebounds against Warner Pacific. Number 11, Lisa Kemp. Lisa Kemp back into the game. Turn around from the elbow is good. Shaw, two more points, uh, six on the night. And Boise State lead it, 40 26. Anderson driving baseline, turns a little short, ball loose. Kept fighting strong, can't get it to go. Good effort that time by the junior. Armida in transition driving, kicks it cross court. Harrell on the block, lost the dribble, and a steal. Owens going to go uncontested all the way to the basket, lays it in for two. Can read that time by the senior. Owens out four points on the afternoon. Looper. Looper driving baseline on Owens, has a step, trying to dump underneath. Good defense again by the pilots, back-to-back -back turnovers. Anderson lost the ball momentarily, got it back. Now Owens will set up the offense. Here's Slega. Slega driving. Kicks it in the corner. Anderson for three. Allen in and out. No good. Orland three of 15 from downtown this afternoon. Armida in the paint. Another turnover. Pilots playing tough defense. Of course, three straight turnovers. We'll go back to the bench. Mulheim, Mats, and Gray going to check in. Forty twenty-eight. Our score: six oh seven left to go here in the third quarter. Boise State shooting sixty-two percent from the field. Portland now thirty-one percent. Battle inside there. Kemp a little slow to get up. There's Shaw. They made a step back three. Too strong. And the long rebound. Ray comes down with it. And she traveled as she go for the ball. It's good effort that time by Gray, the senior from Yakima. 
Bree Hodgins back into the game for Boise State. Hodgins, six points on the afternoon, and now she has the ball. Under six to go here in the third quarter. Looper for three, got it. We forgot to open up that screen. She's two of six from three-point range tonight. Boise State six of 18 as a team. 43-28, Broncos on top. There's Mats, team by 17 points against Warner Pacific. Freshman on the elbow, driving to the basket, had it blocked that time by Shaw. And will stay with Portland. Timeout on the court. Five minutes left to go in the third quarter. Boise State on top of the Pilots, 43 to 28. Watching Portland Pilots basketball from the from the Child Center right here on the W.TV. Welcome back, everyone. Boise State on top, 43 to 28. The Broncos shooting 48% for the game. They are five of six here in the third quarter. The Pilots just 29% overall. Three for nine here in the third quarter. Louis Spencer now leading Portland with 11 points. Uh, Looper leading the way for Boise State. She has eight. Boise State four and three on the season, trying to make it three straight wins after. Back to back wins over Eastern Washington and Washington. The Pilots trying to make it two straight. And whatever Warren Pacific. It's not the four game losing streak. They're unbeaten here at home this season 4 0. Here's Shaw double teamed in the paint. Mulheim got a piece of it. It's loose. It will stay with the Broncos. Good effort that time by the Pilots defensively. Boise State. Preseason number one, the reigning Mountain West champs. 25 wins last year, just eight losses. And Gordy Presnell in his 13th year. 620 wins for the Broncos coach. There's Warner. Harrell, Looper. And he fakes the three. There's a three in the corner, that's no good. Hodgins letting that one go, but another rebound. Fifth offensive rebound here by Boise State. Arrow just inside the paint. Nice jumper from about 10. Another turnover by the Pilots. Looper for three, no good. Arrow's put back, short. Out of bounds to Portland. Owens back in for Matt. Senior in for the freshman. Bronco showing a press. And Owens fouled. It's going to go on Riley Looper. 
Looking for the sophomore from Spokane, Washington. Under four to go here in the third quarter. Boise State on top, 45 to 28. Boise State 0-2 against West Coast Conference opponents this year, including a two-point loss to St. Mary's. They got beat by 20 to USD. Looking for their first win against a West Coast Conference opponent this season. Spencer. Game high 11 for the Pilots. Mohan. Uh, Owens. Open momentarily. Anderson off a screen for a three from the wing. A little strong. And the rebound pulled down by Warner. The Broncos in transition. Hodgins. Shaw open for three. That's no good. Willie Spencer with the rebound. Owens quickly ahead. Anderson has a lane to the basket. Charge call. It's Anderson's fourth. Hermina checks back in. Uh, right now, Pilots have done a good job. They've kept Boise State's leading scorer on the season. Check Hermita has just three points. She's averaging 13 per game on the season. player in danger for Portland right now is Anderson with four. Slega. Open on the back door, cut, lays in for two of a nice feed from Owens. The pilot's leading assist playmaker every year with four per game. Amita, Hodgins. Pilot's hanging around. Easy two that time. Or Harrell, uh, six points on the night. Just three points per game on the season. She's doubled her season average here this afternoon. Owens. Spencer for three, short. And the rebound pulled down by the Broncos. As Hodgins quickly in the near court. Leaves it, Armida driving to the basket. Blocking foul called. Boise State, 46% for the game. Portland is 30%. Uh, that's just two of 17 from three-point range. Still no player for Boise State in double figures. But everybody who has played has scored. Very balanced attack this afternoon by the Broncos. All out of bounds. Robinson was trying to up underneath, so turnover. Ball goes back to Portland. 11th turnover on Boise State this afternoon. Two minutes to play here in the third quarter. Boise State on top, 47 to 30. Owens. Here's Spencer. Well, dumped the low for Gray that time, but has had too much on it. Not a bad idea that time by Slaga, but couldn't quite connect, so it goes back to Broncos. Portland will be back in action a week from today against Weaver State, another 2 o'clock start. Boise State returns home to take on Washington State. They'll play three straight at home. Where they get conference play started. Wheeler in the lane with the right hand, a nice scoop for two. Wheeler using her size at 6'3 to get good position underneath. Uh, seven points on the afternoon. Double her season average. Slega driving. Late whistle, she will go to the line and shoot two.
Slag it to the line. First free throw attempts of the game. Knocks that one. Now she's now three for three on the season. There it goes. They're going to check back in. Shanti Coleman checking back in for Boise State. And free throw, no good. The ball loose. Boise with it. Slega with the read and the steal. Slega going coast to coast. Can't finish. Moving ahead for Hodgins. Hodgins driving baseline. A lot of contact both ways, no call. Amundsen kicks it out. Coleman. Uh, Hodges will slow it down, 16 on the shot clock. Coleman will come out to set a screen. Wheeler, around the perimeter now, it's dumped down low for Coleman, shot blocked by Spencer out of bounds. Oh, a foul call. Looks like Spencer got a lot of the ball there. Elson and Shanti Coleman to the line. Spencer now with four fouls. So Spencer and Anderson, four fouls apiece for the Pilots. Lupfer has four fouls for Boise State, the only player in danger there as Kemp checks back in along with Quinlan. Slega and Spencer will take a seat. My free throw falls. 20-point lead here for the Broncos. Under 30 seconds to play in the third quarter. <laughs> Owens, here's Mon, the freshman. Long three, way off the mark. I was looking up court. Now on the floor with six tenths of a second. Mullen picks up the foul, her first. But that will put Hodgins at the line. Hodgins knocks down the free throw. She's an 84% free throw shooter, is 11 of 13 coming into the game today. And one of two. And that's how the third quarter comes to an end. It's Boise State in control, shooting 48% from the field. They lead the Pilots 52 to 31. Fourth quarter action coming up after this timeout. It's Portland Pilots basketball on the W.TV.
Tech for Boise State. All 10 players have scored today. Uh, Looper leading the way with eight points. Portland being led by Julius Spencer's 11. And it's Boise State. Starts this quarter with a 52-31 lead. Zaragoza way too strong on that shot. Kemp, nice offensive rebound, and she will go to the line for two. Zaragoza coming in and off that double-double, 15 points, 12 rebounds against Warren Pacific. Pilot shooting just 28% for the game. 12 of 42. Boise State 48% overall, 19 of 40. Big rebounding edge right now to Boise State 32 to 22. Hodgins. And Shaw has had a nice game. 6.7 rebounds. He's averaging seven rebounds per game to lead the team. Robinson, the ball worked around the perimeter, eight on the shot clock. Armida driving, errant pass. And foul. Oh, I'm going to get called for the foul. I'm not sure how she got called for the foul there. She was going for the ball. And I'll give it back to Boise State with a fresh shot clock. Warner. Mita looking underneath, looking for Shaw on the left block. Ball moving here by Boise State. Armida, Hodgins. Armida for three. Too strong. Shaw is put back. Nobody got a body on her. And Shaw now with eight points. Tied Looper for a team high. Here's Owens driving. Nice spin move. Uh, then we call it on Armida. Mina has just three points tonight. You can see the follow-up there by Shaw. Nobody got a body on her. Broncos leading scorer averaging 12.9 points per game. 16-point effort against Washington. Owens in the corner. Dancing along the baseline. That pass deflected. Stay with the Pilots, 19 on the shot clock. For Portland, it will be Weber State and then St. Francis. They will open up conference play on the summer 28th against BYU. So two more non-conference games before West Coast Conference action starts. Owens, a hit on the wrist. He will go to the line for two. Mentioned Washington, or pardon me, Boise State will play Washington State. So Owens just getting hit on the elbow there. That's their next game. They also take on uh, CSU Bakersfield and St. Francis. But in Portland, we'll see here on the 20th before they open up conference play against Colorado State. Owens for one more, knocks it down. Owens, six points on the night. It's four four from the free throw line. Hodgins driving. Shaw on the elbow. Looks it down low. Harrell up and under. There it goes. They got a piece of that. At least got in the way. Owens the other way. Owens being called the offensive foul with the forearm. Eight minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter. Boise State trying to make it four straight wins against the Pilots and pull the all-time series a little closer. Portland currently leads it 12 to eight. Hodgins. Oh, Back-to-back offensive fouls. Shaw picks up her fourth foul. Shaw having a nice game, eight points, eight assists. Close to a double-double. Hey, 
Nice bounce pass, Kemp wide open for two. <laughs> Owens' fifth assist of the afternoon. And Kemp wide open on the right block. Here's Shaw. Hodgins for three, knocks it down. Hodgins second three of the game, she's two of four from downtown. There goes a, it's a size advantage for two over Harold. Mita kicks it cross court. Shaw on the elbow driving to the basket for two. Just got a step on Kemp. Shaw now in double figures. And a timeout. Timeout on the floor. Taken by Portland. 6.49 left to go here in the fourth quarter. It is Boise State on top of the Pilots, 59-38. You're watching Portland Pilots basketball right here on the W. Fifty-nine thirty-eight. It is Boise State on top of Portland here on the bluff. Welcome you back to the Child Center. Boise State shooting forty-eight percent for the game. Portland thirty-one percent. Boise State being led by Shaylin Shaw and Brady Hodgins, each with ten points. Pilots Chris Spencer with eleven. Always along the baseline, created some space, couldn't get the finish. Shaw, who's one rebound away from a double-double. Ten points, nine rebounds. The senior from Reno. Here she is just inside the free throw line, can't get it to go. And a foul called on Ashley Gray. Harold committing the offensive foul. 59-38. Broncos on top. Trying to make it three straight wins. Coming in victories over Eastern Washington and the University of Washington. Shot 58% of that win over the Huskies. Here's Owens. Long jumper, no good. And a jump ball call. Will go to Boise State. An effort by both teams there. Portland trying to press. But we worked ahead. Nice ball movement that time. Armida finding Harrell for two more. Harrell having a big game. Three points per game on the season. That's eight tonight. 
Lyme fakes the three, driving. Took an extra step before she made that pass. Broncos easily breaking the press that time. Portland going to stick with it. Warner. And Hodges will set the offense. Twelve on the shot clock. Hodgins, the sophomore. Draw coming out to set a screen. Hodgins, the floater. Or the basket and a foul. Ray picks up the foul. It's her fourth foul. Nice finish there by Hodgins. Having a big game. Third on the team in scoring coming into action today. A 50% field goal shooter. Having a nice game here tonight. Now leading with 12 points on 4 of 7 shooting. Uh, has a chance to complete a three-point play. Knocks it down. 64-38. Where's the state on top? On with the left hand. Can't get the scoop to go. Where's the state with the board? Travel that called that time. I just took an extra step. Time out on the court. Under five to go here. Boise State on top, 64 to 38. You're watching Portland Pilots basketball right here on the W.TV. Back everybody. It is Boise State on top, 64-38. Bronco shooting 50% for the game. Portland, 29%. Rudy Hodges leading the way for the Broncos, 13 points. All 10 players that have featured today for Boise State have scored. Very bounce attack from the Broncos this afternoon. Here's Slager driving the baseline. Ray lost the handle. It'll stay with Spencer. Spencer's in by 11 points. with one of the clocks, so we reset things. Like both the shot clock and the game clock didn't start when Portland had the ball. So we'll take a look at the upcoming schedule we mentioned. 
the non-conference rolls on. It'll be Weber State on Sunday, December 17th, a week from today at 2 o'clock, and then St. Francis, a 1 o'clock start on December 20th. Conference play opens up December 28th after Christmas against BYU. And Portland will hit the road to take on San Francisco and San Diego before returning home. January dates are Santa Clara on the 6th and January 11th against Zaga. Boise State take on Washington State, Cal State Bakersfield, and St. Francis. Their first conference game will be on the road at Colorado State. They'll open up conference play at home against UNLV on December 30th. Good shooting today by the Broncos. 50%, 20 for 48, 7 of 23 from three-point range. Portland appears to be very good at home, right around 50% on this season. It's been tough sledding today, 14 of 48 from the field, just 2 of 18 from downtown. They are 8 of 10 at the free throw line. Big rebounding edge for the Broncos in their size, 37 to 24. Looks like we're ready to go. So 8, 418 officially on the clock. 12 seconds on the shot clock and we pilot's ball. Anderson. Owens from the corner for three. That's no good. Got a pretty clean look at it. And the rebound for Boise State. Boise State going to bring in five new players. Shaw got credit for that last rebound, so she will exit the game with a double-double. Ten points, ten rebounds for Shaylin Shaw. Big effort this afternoon for the Broncos. Matt's back in for the Pilots. Freshman point guard from Spokane. Under four to go here. Three from the top of the key is short that time from Amundsen. Rebound pulled down by Kate Anderson. Anderson driving baseline. Off the glass. Score the basket and a foul. Good hard move by Kate Anderson. And a chance to complete a three-point play. Anderson who led the team. 16 points against Warner Pacific. She's third on the team in scoring coming into today's game. Nine points per game. Gets that free throw to go. The ball flipped through the hands of Brooke Wheeler. Ball back to Portland. Fourteen turnovers on the Broncos this afternoon. Anderson for two more. Can't get it to go. Put back by Grace Short. Continue to stay with the play, and she's rewarded. She'll go to the line for two. Foreman picks up her first. Ray at the line. Looking for her, for her first points of the afternoon. Free throw off. One more free throw for the senior from Yakima. 0 for 2. Amina works it ahead quickly. Amundsen. Ball dunked down low. Wheeler on the block. Comes it cross court. Amita at the free throw line, driving to the basket. And a blocking foul call. We throw good by Armida, the team's leading scorer. 85% free throw shooter, 18 for 21 coming into today's game. Junior from Madrid, Spain. Same hometown as Zaragoza. Well, you stay on top, 66 to 41. 
Anderson driving, had a block, went up the second time. Somehow still controlled it. Spencer got hacked. And she will go to the line and shoot two. Amundsen picks up the foul, the freshman from Fresno, California. Spencer knocks down that free throw, now has a team high 12 points. He got hit hard that time. Leone Edginger in the game, replacing Coleman. Under three to go here in the fourth quarter. Boise State looking for their first win against the West Coast Conference opponent, falling to San Diego by 20 and St. Mary's by two. Well, kept alive along the near sideline by Edringer. Six on the shot clock, a three is way too strong. Dice Neat to try it again and hit it. Wow. Haley Weissmeet, 6'3 freshman, one on the shot clock, just had to throw up her prayer. It was answered. Slega can't get it to go. Boise State, 8 of 26 is a team from three point range. Cough for two more. Under two to go. It's Anderson. Anderson spinning in the paint, hesitates. Got hit. Nice one-on-one -on -one move there by the sophomore from Portland. I'll put Anderson at the line. A 95% free throw shooter. Anderson is now 20 of 21 on the season from the line. Host of subs in for the Pilots. Quinlan, Zaragoza, Kempf all checking back in. Quinlan officially checking in now for Anderson. Nice meet, it's across court. Edringer lost the handle. There's Matt's the other way for the Pilots. Matt's driving strong, going up against three defenders, score the basket and a foul. Nice strong move to the basket by the freshman from Tacoma. With 17 points, the win against Warner Pacific. Josie Matt's on the line. Their first basket of the game. Can't get the free throw to go. Cut on the shot clock. Robinson. Well worked around the perimeter. Luper dumps it down low. Another turnover. Matt's quickly in the near court, looking underneath. Gorsman, Kempf, nice bounce pass. Took a deflection though. Good read that time by Edringer. Lufer has had a nice game, eight points. and a foul. So 11 of the 12 players for Boise State have scored. Edringer is the only player who's not scored who's played today. 
on a balanced attack. Just two players in double figures despite 71 points. Free throw is good by Emil Tuff. Good match, just got a piece of her arm there. Quinlan off the screen, the jumpers in and out, no good. And that will do it. Boise State comes to Portland and shoots well and wins it 73 to 47. Final score from the Child Center. Boise State shoots 50% for the game. Led by Brady Hodgins, 13 points. The Pilots shoot 29%. Lou Spencer lead the way with 13 points. Once again, final score from the Child Center. It's Boise State 73, Portland 47. We'll see you next Sunday at 2 o'clock as the Pilots get set to take on Weber State. For our entire crew, I'm Tom Colker. Thanks so much for watching this presentation of Portland Pilots basketball here on the W.TV.